Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, we will take a first look at the new refreshed Power Apps Make a Portal homepage experience. The refreshed look brings revamped entry points based on maker intent where you can start from data or a page design or sample apps. We also have the AI Copilot infused header experience, an updated look for apps and more. So let's check it out in action. The homepage is a new refreshed modern design that offers an intuitive and user-friendly experience. The new layout showcases the latest AI Copilot app creation process followed by multiple ways to create an app. The Copilot experience, you can simply describe what you need in everyday words. The updated refresh also provides some sample examples that you can start with. For example, manage inspections and submit. And this will walk us through the process of creating a table in Dataverse and interacting with the Copilot experience on the right hand side to update our table schema. And once we click create app, it will create a fully responsive single screen Power App application. I have done multiple videos, including a full build experience. The Copilot experience requires Dataverse. For those kind of scenarios, they will simply see the header without the Copilot experience. In the other ways to create an app, first up, we have start with data. Here, we have been provided with three options. Start with a blank table. This allows us to create a new table in Dataverse Column I rename to first name. Here you have the full column creation experience in Dataverse available. I'll create one for last name. And I'll create a column to track the expertise. This, I'll make it a choice column. Observe how the choice set creation experience also lights up directly in line in this experience. I can start plugging in my choices and click save. You can also create a lookup column right here, which creates a relationship with any other table in your current environment. Here, you can also add data. And I've clicked on create app. And this will begin the process of creating a responsive power app that is connected to that table. And here is that power app in action. The second option we have is to start with an existing table. So I have a table in Dataverse. Here I can search for tables, pick my table and click create an app. And here is the Power App in action. The third option is connect to external data. Three options, SharePoint, Excel, and SQL. So I have a SharePoint list for Asset Manager, and I would like to connect to this specific list and create a responsive app. First, I need to have a connection in place. Then I can pick from any of my recent sites or search within them or simply enter the SharePoint site URL and click connect. Here's the site and these are all the lists that are a part of that site. I can search for my asset manager list, select the list and create my app. And here is that power app in action. And on very similar lines, connect to external data. 
we can connect to Excel or SQL. For Excel, it leverages the Excel Online Business Connector. Here it lists out all the Excel files that could be a part of your OneDrive or a SharePoint site or a group. You can also refine the tables at the bottom. If you go to the information icon, it will tell you what options you have. If I put me, it shows my groups and sites. I can click connect, lists out OneDrive. I can open OneDrive. In my documents folder in OneDrive, I have an Excel file called office sales. This Excel file has a table, table has some sample sales data. So right here in this experience, if that Excel file has tables, I can open it and select the table within it. I can either auto generate an identity column, which is recommended, or I can select an existing column and create my power app. Here is the app in action. The second option is to start with a page design. Within this, we have multiple options to choose from. The first one is gallery connected to table. This is exactly the same experience as before. So if I select this, I have to pick from one of my existing Dataverse tables and it will create that responsive application for us. The second option is gallery connected to an external table. We have three options, SharePoint, Excel, SQL, and it will create that responsive app. The third option is blank canvas. You can start here either with the tablet experience or with the phone experience. Here is an example of the blank canvas app experience. Then we have view and form. This is related to a model driven app experience. So if your data is in Dataverse or you have virtualized your data in Dataverse, you can take advantage of a model driven app. If I select this, it will begin the process of creating my model driven power app. So here we can pick an existing table and it will go ahead and bring in the views and forms associated with the table, or we can create our new table from scratch. The second option is blank page with navigation. If you select this, once again, it will create a model driven app. And here you can start adding pages to your model driven app. Then we have the option to create an app either from an image or Figma file. These are canvas app oriented. You can simply upload an image or you can pick from some of the sample images that have been provided. Pick the format for your app. Give your app a name. Click next. AI will go ahead and tag the different components on the image for us. We can select and confirm if those are good or make changes to the types of the components. We can click next. We have the option to connect it to a database table or skip the step. I'll say connect, click next, choose an existing table, or in this case, I'll simply create a new table. It has all the columns of the form identified. You can click next. These are the data types. I'll click create the app. And just like that, it begins the process of creating a canvas app based on that sample image that was provided. And here is an example of that power app in action. The next three options will create a canvas app and the home screen will leverage one of these different templates. So for example, if I pick the sidebar experience, this creates an app that has the sidebar screen layout applied to the home screen. And the other two options are the screen layout options for split screen and header main section footer.
In the other ways to create an app, our third option is start with an app template. Here, right at the top is the experience for us to create a standard three screen power app experience, browse, detail, and edit screen experience from any of these four data source options. Let's take an example of SharePoint once again. I'll connect it to one of my SharePoint sites and I'll pick the asset manager list and click create. And here is an example of that three screen experience in action. We have the different templates to select from, templates for Canvas apps and model driven apps. If your environment does not have Dataverse, here is a preview environment of mine that does not have Dataverse. If I go to start with data, notice the Dataverse related options are disabled and we also get an option here to switch to our developer environment. If I click on switch, this will take me to a specific developer environment that I have access to, which has Dataverse. And you can see these options become enabled. And finally, we have the apps section, which lists out our most recently used apps. You can click on it and it will directly take us to the edit experience for the Power App in Studio. Or we can play the app in the browser or go to three ellipses and that will lead us to all the different setting options for our Power App. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.